Jeff here with Expedition Essentials and today we're going to show you guys how to install our bedside compressor mount in uh, 2016 Toyota Tacoma and uh, we're going to show you how easy it is and uh, let's go ahead and get started. This is the mount as you receive in your nice box. Um, it comes with the bottom plate installed, nice stainless hardware, powder coated, and pretty much ready to install. Here we have your factory uh, cubby box, whatever you want to call it. We're going to keep this, we're going to modify it, and reuse the lid. So it looks OEM when it's all back together. So we'll save this for later. Handy drilling template so you know exactly where to put your bolt holes. We're going to drill our holes using a smaller drill bit initially for a pilot drill. The um, end result will be a quarter inch drill bit. Uh, your holes are going to be a little larger than they would normally be, but we want them a little oversized for any uh, forward and aft movement. Um, basically, um, the strength comes from the mount, the sandwiching, the fiberglass between the backup plate and the mount. So your strength comes from that. So no worries if your holes have, have to be a little larger because you missed drilled. Uh, there's plenty of room in there for error. So here we go. So what you're looking at here is we had a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys may run into this as well. Um, there's a metal structure back here, and depending on where Toyota, uh, on what actually depending on what day it was, I think maybe they're a little different with every truck. But we had to notch this side out because this metal structure pushed our drill bit over. And some of you guys may be running the, into this as well, depending on where you map, where you taped your drilling template. We were a little far forward on ours, which put us closer on this edge and a drill bit pushed over. So what we did here is we, is we notched this out with the high speed cutoff wheel. Um, that basically just makes it a lot easier to install. And still, you, you still have your strength there because the screws are still located in the right spot and you're sandwiching the fiberglass and the mount and the backup plate together which gives it strength. So it's not going anywhere. It's it's very strong. That's exactly how we did it on our personal truck. Um, it's been in there for over a year at least, and um, it's never gonna fail. Plenty of strength. So uh, we just wanna show you that um, if you run into a situation on your install. At this time, we've already drilled our holes, and we're to the point where it's time to install your compressor. Most guys will probably install air between. If you have a buy air or anything else, you'll have to drill holes in the base plate. You don't come to be drilled for a buy air. But we're ready to go for an air between. So we're going to do it this time.
All right, so what you guys are seeing here is the inside of your your wheel well. Um, and what I'm trying to show you in the middle of this opening here, there's this plastic rib. If you're installing an ARB twin, you'll need to clearance just this point off of that with the cutoff wheel, handsaw, anything. It, it trims very easy. I just want to show you where to make that cut. That gives you the room for your ARB, ARB twin. Um, and my okay, guys. So now here's the point where you need a buddy. Uh, we've chosen to install our assembly with the compressor already in there, so it makes it really heavy. And with the bottom plate installed, you can't get your hands up in there and install the screws from underneath. So your nice your buddy volunteered to help you. And what he's going to do is while you're holding it from underneath, he's going to install the backup plates to each um, from the top. And he's going to hand tighten in all six screws, get everything started, and it's not going anywhere. Um, he can go play golf after that. It doesn't matter. You don't need his help anymore. Or he can stay, he can stay and laugh at you. Either way, these two backup plates go up from the top, not goes up from the bottom, and we're ready to install. So let's get it done. Come on, buddy. So here's a shot of the air compressor mount installed. Um, this is after your buddy's helped you um, and he installed the, he hand tightened the screws up top. Uh, as you can see, you have two backup plates here that sandwich the fiberglass between the mount and the plates, um, both sides. So um, if you remember that we notched this side out, you can now see that there's no there's no move there's no potential for forward and aft movement with this thing it's in there tight um, so notching it versus having just regular holes it really doesn't matter the weight is all carried by the backup plates and the mount uh, sandwiching the fiberglass uh, really strong mounting system uh, and um, now we'll move on to modifying your box and getting it the lid ready for installation as well as uh, now is probably the time to hook up your wiring, which you've already routed, and testing your compressor. All right, so at this point, we have already installed the compressor, tested the wiring, um, everything's good to go. And now we're to the fun part of modifying your factory cubby box um, for reinstallation. So let's OEM. So let's go ahead and get it done. really simple to modify this box so basically what we're doing we're just measuring out three quarters of an inch and what you want to do is you're leaving you're leaving the slots just the first part of it leaving the slots for the latches to catch for your locks and you're leaving these slots here for the tabs for the lid and that's basically it it's really really easy to do so I'm gonna go ahead and start marking. choose to use a high speed cutoff wheel because it's really fastest and this composite fiberglass plastic cuts really easy with it. That's it. Cuts really easy. Um, this you can keep it as a change holder or toss it. It's up to you. Maybe install some put it inside your house, put some plants in it. Doesn't really matter. Uh, otherwise, it's trash. So one thing we want to not forget: uh, these lids have little nipples on here. 
to basically locate it on the factory box. And we're going to want to trim these off so it fits flush. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Just fire up the old high speed again or handsaw or you know, clippers, whatever you have. And there you go. Okay, so now we're down to the final step, and what we're left with after coming and cutting your box is this nice little flanged edge that your factory lid will fit on. And we have these two spacers that we provide that basically space the lid away from your air release, quick release coupling. Um, gives you a little more room there and uh, making sure so everything can fit under the lid. So here we go. That's a wrap guys, put your lid on, you're all set. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You've got our phone number, we also have written installations that are included in every box. Um, thanks for watching, and until next time.